Hello. My name is Blake, and I'm a junior at Millard North. Yay! This poem is called Mr. Wolf, and I would like to shout out there might be some trigger warnings. <coughs> he doesn't act like a wolf, not at first, but he definitely fights like one. He doesn't sound like a wolf, not at first, but his breath is hot on my back. My baby, with his mane of flame, paints himself a man, but the animal shows through. I cannot forgive myself for this. I cannot forgive the distance. I stand with weak knees before the horror that you have seated within me. I go to bed with you, but fall asleep alone. I am terrified of the glass-breaking skin ripping 3 a.m., the witching hour. Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf, Mr. Wolf, Mr. Wolf. Your name is blood on my tongue, sticky and reluctant to leave. These scars will immortalize your name, Mr. Wolf, but still, you want more. 11.58, 11.59, you call me up at midnight. Your voice excited at the other end of the receiver. She's beautiful. She won't leave your head. She's lying in your bed with claw marks that should be mine. She doesn't know you're mine. She doesn't understand you. She doesn't know that you are mine. I lie to them just to keep you, selfish wolf. Click. End. Static. Silence crashes around my bed. The teeth marks that you left me are salted with unanswered questions. Why? Why do you love me when she's so easily yours? Why do, you, why do you love me when all you do is hide me, Mr. Wolf? It is now that I decide I am not scared of Earth's eternal savior, but of man's eternal reign. You call me back. You're sorry. You love me. I'm your beauty queen. We'll go to Europe and you'll put the bottle down. No. No, instead I put the phone down, jealous of her tie to you. It's a full moon tonight, a revolution in your mind, but nothing changes. Screaming, love making, glass breaking, skin ripping, bone cracking until I click and static. <laughs>